مرحبا يا شباب ووكم تو بارت ناين اهلا وسهلا سو ان ذا لاست فيديو وي امبلمنت ذا تاسك في موديل وي هاف ديفايند اور ثري لايف ذا اوبجيكتس ذن وي ديفايند ا هاند ريسبونس ريبا كلاس تو ويتش ويل بي يوزد ان اور كرات اوبريشنز And yeah, as you can see, we are we still lacking the injection uh, dependence injection stuff in the view model and the repository, like for instance here. And yeah, okay. Uh, what we are going to do now is to set up Dagger Dagger Hilt. So for that, create a new package. Just call it DI for dependency injection. Uh, let's create a new class. So this will be an object class. Repository module. Okay, let's let's give it a module uh, annotation from Dagger. Yes. And we say install in with it install in. It's a single component. Okay. Uh, class. Okay. Looks so far so good. And so since we are, mm, this is for our repository here in our repository. Just let me just close this. We're getting an instance of task API. It's our retrofit instance, basically. And because of that, we just want to be, this is a single, we don't want multiple retrofit instances because this would be too much um, memory consuming and you don't want that. So we are fine with a single in here because you don't want multiple HTTP clients. So, and we use provides because the retrofit, because our, let's dive into it versus networking. Here we have our endpoints defined and here we have our actual retrofit instance. And the thing is, um, we don't have a control over this retrofit instance. Basically this task API web service is just a wrapper. It just wraps around this retrofit builder. So that's why we are going to use provides because we don't have, it's not our class, it's a third party uh, from a third party library. So that's why we use provide. Uh, otherwise we would use bind if we have full control of this class, but we don't have. Let's provide and let's say just the name, provide task web service. The naming is not so important, but so you know service of task task api and this is now we define how this should be built an instance of this so we just say just task web service implemented um, yeah imported get task api client and that should be it and this is the beauty of dependency injection libraries like dagger hilt You just have to use once, you have to just show once how to build this class with this method in here. And that's it. Uh, otherwise we ha would have always to define it. And this makes this, I would say we, we don't need to use so much boilerplate code, but yeah. And yeah, good. Now this should be this repository that should good to go and as you can see we have here a new symbol and it shows we are using this one here okay nice the id is now smart enough to redirect us where this where we get this instance of task api that's great and here we don't have it no in a few more we don't have it but we will get it soon Just let's close this for now. Let's go again to DI and we will create a new class, a new module to be precise. Let's call it task view model more 
dual class and we need to annotate it as well as a module for dagger because in dagger hill in dagger hill dependence injections certainly done in an other way than in dagger 2 dagger hill is a little bit more straightforward i would say uh, this is in the view model component view model component okay great and now because we have full access of our task view model basically we not about our task view model about our task repository which is here which is our class all the methods in here and how to instantiate it we will uh, we will um, use the binds annotation. Uh, this is view model scoped. This instance of a repository will be bind to the view model scope. To say abstract fun and ah, this needs to be also abstract class. Okay. Otherwise, we'll get an error message. Bind repository. Okay, let's say repository, but we want the implementation of it and just task repository. And yeah, that should be it. And we have a simple in here. And now, as you can see, we also are not here uh, in our view model. And now here in our view model, you see the this icon popped up. And we can see we get the repository instance from here. We tell this is the implementation and it knows the basic constructor of it. And yeah, that's it. That should be it for now. What uh, in terms of dagger, but I uh, don't know. No, I forgot something. I forgot something. I'm sorry. Anasif. Anasif in Arabic to be sorry. So to say I'm sorry. We need an, one more class. We need a, a task app. I will call it task app. This this needs to be annotated uh, with filled Android app, and it needs to be inherit from application class application Android application. Okay. Why are we needing this class? Because this is our entry point for the um, setting up the dependency graph of Dagger Hilt. Because when you use Dagger Hilt, it creates a dependency graph. It knows that view model, that your view model is dependent of a task repository. And this task repository has an implementation and the repository implementation is dependent on a task API and so on and so forth. It creates a dependency graph. And here in this application, we have to say this is the entry point, and from there you should create the dependency graph. Uh, so companion object. Uh, da, 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 da. Basically, the most necessary thing is just the uh, annotation. It needs to be, be inher in, inherited from application. A uh, tilt and an app annotation is needs to be done and inherited from application class. Okay. Late in at var instance type task app just setting up the constructor and now i'm just setting up all for um, timber for the logging of stuff this is not this is not necessary for Hilt what I'm doing right now, but for Dagger Hilt, but it's using I'm um, just setting up that our logging with Timber properly works. So that you know if build config is debug, then only if the build config is debug then print so the timber logs oh, 
Okay, 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 that should be it. Let's just rebuild the project. So, because it's always good to, to run a build. Um, otherwise, for instance, if you get some, yeah, hilt is done, it's good. Uh, this is just this node, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Yeah, okay, it doesn't matter for now. But otherwise, if we had some dagger problems, the build will would fail. But now the build is good. And we set up the dependence injection stuff. Next thing is we can start with our fragments. And yeah, if you have any questions, write me some comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. You know the drill. See you in the next video in part 10. Ilalikaya Shabab.